Well, I sold my soul. That's right, I bought the M1 Mac Mini. Hey world, YouTube world, Nick Shepard here of the Ilone Project, and you heard me correctly. I sold my soul back to Apple and bought the M1 Mac Mini. But before we get into why I did that and the unboxing of this slightly, enormously, the same looking package that Apple has done forever, go ahead and smash that like button guys, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications, Share the channel because it helps me and it helps you and it helps everyone and we all like to grow together. And as per usual guys, if you are uh, wanting to ask me any questions at all, go ahead and reach out to me on my Twitter. Verified on Twitter, that way you know it's me and not some weird fake profile trying to scam you out of things. But I did it guys. I bought the M1 Mac Mini and here's why. First of all, with the way that footage is going, it's getting bigger and more complicated every year. And unfortunately, my machines are getting to the point where they just can't handle it. And my workflow has been suffering terribly because of it. If you've been following me for quite some time, you know that a few years ago, I built myself a beast of a Hackintosh. And it's been awesome. It's worked so far up until I wanted to start working with 4K 120 and raw video footage. It just ain't doing it with that. And I was getting ready to pull the trigger, guys, believe it or not, on the iMac, the 2020 iMac, maxed out on RAM, processor, i9, whatever. It was gonna cost me upwards of about four grand. And then they dropped the M1. Thanks, Apple. Thank you for that big wrench in my works. Now when they drop the M1, I'm sure everybody's seen how amazing people are saying this processor is, et cetera, et cetera. And with the idea of them possibly not supporting the old IMAX, I couldn't pull the trigger on a price tag that big and get screwed again by Apple. Weird. <laughs> they kind of have a way of doing it to people. Now, to be completely honest, guys, I'm not stoked on the fact that you can't change anything in Max anymore. It is the one thing that led me down the road of building a Hackintosh in the first place. Honestly, I, I hate it, but I am a slave to Apple because I like their OS and I like their software. Damn it. <laughs> but seriously, I'm, I'm not a fan of what Apple does. I'm not a, a fan of them keeping people from expanding their machines. I think it's completely dog shit. And I really don't care if Apple hears me say this because they don't do anything for me. They charge me ungodly amounts of money for stuff that should not cost as much as it does. But I decided to go ahead and buy the Mac M Mini. I pretty much maxed this one out. It's maxed out on RAM. I went with the one terabyte hard drive because I didn't want to spend $4 for a two terabyte hard drive. It's ridiculous, Apple. You guys are just crushing people. But again, I'm a fan of your software. I'm a fan of your OS. It works good. It's not clunky. I'm not a fan of Windows. So until something better comes out, I will continue to sell my soul. But here's the silver lining with me showing you guys the unboxing of this. I am going to be real with you. Everybody's saying this thing kicks ass with video editing. It, it should be a beast. It, it shouldn't have any problems with the things I'm trying to do. But if it does, I will let you guys know. I will tell you not to buy this machine if it is dog shit. Again, I don't care what Apple thinks about my channel. This is my channel and I'll do whatever I want on it. So I'm going to use this thing. I'm probably going to use this guy until they drop the new iMac because it's supposed to be a far superior machine to this but hopefully this will hold me over until then. In the meantime, I probably will be selling my Hackintosh if anyone's interested, hit me up on that Twitter. And we can negotiate some kind of price for that thing. So it is still a very good machine, but for the professional stuff I'm trying to do, it just isn't cutting it right now. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into this bad boy, see what's in the box. I'm assuming there's not much. I'm assuming it's a machine. I'm assuming it's a power cable because Apple likes to keep you from getting anything extra unless you spend tons of money on it. So let's unbox the M1 Mac Mini. But first, have another damn drink. Good ice cube. Here we go. Oh god, that suction cup. Now I'll tell you what, as unoriginal as Apple has been over the last 15 years, because everything has looked exactly the same, they haven't changed a thing, it's still pretty. They're really good at aesthetics. So, that is the machine. 
we have a nice little pull tab here. Got all the fancy plastics, gadget gadgets, the what have yous. Wow, like I said, not much in the box. I'm assuming this is gonna be an instruction manual. Cool sticker that they continue to give people that no one really cares about. I'm not sticking an Apple sticker on shit. Instruction manual, we you know what we do with those. Oh, look, and a power cord. I have a strong feeling that they spend thousands upon thousands, possibly millions of dollars for some architect and design guy to create these boxes and weird things that hold everything together. But whatever, to each their own. If I sound bitter, it's because I slightly am. Again, I'm just burnt out on how Apple treats their customers, but I like the way their things work. So we have the Mac Mini, a power cable, and that's it. Oh, Apple, you guys don't leave much to the imagination. So let's see what is inside the plastic housing. It is pretty. It is pretty, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, well, that's a beautiful Mac mini computer. There we go. Good. Woo! Like butter. So, you've got your fan port, you've got your ethernet cable, you've got your power, you've got your two thunderbolts, your HDMI, and two USBs, and a headphone jack. Guys, it's a Mac mini. I know this is a, a, a slightly uneventful video, but I just wanted you guys to see what's in the box. Uh, but besides that, guys, seriously, I will let you know if this thing sucks. I am gonna run it through the ringer. I'm not gonna do some stupid benchmark test. I am gonna hit this thing with everything I'm working with. And if it does not hang, guys, you will know about it. So, until next time, guys, I hope you're enjoying your day, your life, your week, your year, and I will see you next time I decide to get creative. Deuces.